Hey YouTube, let us make some authentic Jamaican fricassee chicken. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'll be making some Jamaican fricassee chicken, aka stew chicken, aka fry up and cook down chicken. I'll also be sharing some tips on how to get the best fricassee chicken in my opinion. So in my bowl here I have about um, two pounds of chicken. So I have a leg, a thigh, a breast, and a wing that I put in too. Because I normally like to give the drumstick part to my toddler. So right here now I'm adding about two teaspoons of salt. About a splash or two of soy sauce. And right here now is Holy Grail, my green seasoning, which I'll link in the cards above and in the description box so you can check there for it. I'll be adding about a tablespoon of that to it. And now with a bag over my hand, I'm going to massage this in the chicken real good because I want to have it well massaged in because I won't have enough time as I'd like to have. Have it uh, marinate, I should say. So I'm going to rub it in real good. Then I'm just going to put the bag over it and then put a piece of foil paper over, over it, cover it and put it aside for about half an hour because that's just about the time I have to marinate it for. So while that is marinating, I'm going to start um, heat up my pot here. So I'm adding about two, two tablespoons of oil. And as usual, I'll be flavoring the oil. So I'm adding a sprig of thyme, two pegs of garlic, and a piece of ginger to release all those flavors in the oil. So when I add my chicken to it, then the chicken with the flavor is going in the oil with the flavor for maximum, maximum flavor release. So while that is going, let's look at the um, rest of the seasoning that I'll be using. So I have a piece of um, rye pepper here for heat. I have the green pepper for flavor, some grated ginger, chopped garlic, sweet pepper, onion, tomato, carrot, thyme. And in my little dish here, I have some scallions. So I'm not ready to start frying the chicken, but before I do, um, I'll be, you know, dusting some flour on this piece of foil here. As I stated in a previous video, I'm at one for quick cleanup, so I can just take this up and um, throw it out. What I'm doing with this flour here now is to do what they call velveting. If you notice from when I started, um, the chicken has no skin on there. So this is why I'm doing these steps. But if you're cooking your chicken or you're making your chicken with skin on there, then you can skip this step here. But what this is going to do, this is going to lock in the moisture so when i put it in the oil it won't dry out or anything like that this is going to lock in the moisture in the chicken so this is why i do um this i normally do this whenever time i'm fricasseeing my chicken all right so i'm gonna you know, lightly dust them we don't want much flour on it just lightly dust the flour on it all right so that's it but you see this here now, I'm not going to throw it out because tons of flavor is down in here. So it's going to set that aside. Alright, so it has now been about five minutes since I put the, um, the garlic, ginger and thyme in the pot here. So I'm removing them. Tip number two, fry your chicken on medium high flame. We don't want it on too much of a rapidly high fire. Sorry about that guys, I lost some footage. But as I notice here, um, the, the chicken is, there is no rapid bubbles coming up. So I have it on medium high fire. Look at that color there. Nice, beautiful brown color there. So I'm ready to remove the first butter. Look, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful color. That's so everything is coming along nicely. Tip number three. When making your chicken, don't use fork to place the chicken in the pot or to remove it. Get you a tongue or use a spoon if you don't have a tongue. So I removed all the chicken and threw off some of the oil. So you see these brown bits down in the bottom of the pot here? Tons of flavor, so we're not going to get rid of that. 
Right, so I'm getting ready to start stewing the chicken. So right here now I'm adding approximately a tablespoon of sugar to the pot here that I'm going to brown down. As you can see here, I'm stirring the sugar constantly so as to prevent burning. So this is right where I need it to be. Um, I don't want to get it black because that will um, be bitter. So right here now I'm adding back the chicken to the pot. And this here now is a leftover season we had from earlier. Let's put it right down in there. Then get some water, about approximately a cup of water in there, rinse it out and then add it to the pot as well. Give it a good stir to ensure nothing is sticking. And right here now I'm adding all my fresh seasoning that I have there. And this is going to release all the flavor down in this chicken here. This makes a one beautiful, beautiful, um, delicious fricassee chicken. Cover it and cook it for about um, 15 minutes and then we check back on it then. It has now been 15 minutes so we're checking on it. Look at that. You can't tell me that's not beautiful. And I tell you, it smells amazing. I'm sorry guys, I added off camera a tablespoon of ketchup and about another teaspoon of salt to it. And right here now I'm adding about a quarter cup of water and just going to cover it and then cook it for another five minutes or so. And then we'll be finished. Here you have it guys. My authentic Jamaican fricassee chicken aka stew chicken aka fry up and cook down. How beautiful is that? Very beautiful and it smells amazing and I can tell you that it tastes even better. So I'll be serving this with some coconut dumpling, some plantain and sweet potato. It's not typical but you know sometimes I have to change up your thing. Here is a plated meal guys. I have my fricassee chicken here served with some coconut dumpling, a piece of boiled plantain, sweet potato, and a boiled banana. Thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.